Well, hey everybody, it's Walt, Dirtfoot Racing. We are in Seattle at the train station. This is a very ornate place. It's old school. Nice though. So I wanna just show you a little bit around in here. Um, yeah. We are, uh, we had a little bit of a change in plans. Uh, we got a, a text from Amtrak saying that due to, uh, I guess, track issues or something, that um, this, the first leg of the journey from Seattle to Port, excuse me, Portland will be on a bus and then we'll pick up the train in Portland and continue south. So they sent a text and um, I didn't, we sent a couple texts actually. And at first it was like, what, what do you mean? And then they sent another text explaining it a little bit more. And then we called them and they let us know what was going on. So um, yeah. Coast Starlight, that's our, uh, that's our train right there. That's what we board at. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, it's a nice station, though. I mean, they don't have a, a lounge for the um, sleeper car people like they did in Chicago. Um, that, not that I'm aware of. And um, there's no food inside the, the terminal here. So um, I'm going to go down. We didn't have any breakfast before we came down here, so I mean, we'll survive. We got candy and all that kind of stuff, but anyways, um, let's walk around here a little bit and see what uh, what's involved in this station here. There's the uh, the Amtrak desk and baggage check-in. We're not checking our bags. We're gonna we're going to um. There's a place on the train to stow the excess bags. That way, we have access to them if we need to get something out or along the way so we found it worked we did that on the leg from chicago to to um seattle here seattle uh it's nice outside today it was nice yesterday yesterday we went to the um museum of flight awesome museum if you get a chance and you're in in seattle check it out for sure um give yourself a whole day to see it because lots to see uh, really, really good displays and stuff like that. So, um, definitely check out Museum of Flight. I guess also Paul Allen of Microsoft fame, notoriety, has his own museum here too. I heard that's really good also, um, but we just didn't have time for both. Also, yesterday we went up in the Space Needle, which of course you go to Seattle, you need to go up in the Space Needle, and we did that, and that was cool too. And really. Um, I didn't realize how old it was. It was built in 62, I think, or 61. So um, it, uh, it uh, is almost the same as me, um, age-wise. So yeah, but very cool, worth the trip. Spend the money, go up in the needle, stand on the glass floor and look down. You know, come on, you can do it. But yeah, good time, a lot of fun. Um, we had a full day yesterday, and uh, so now we're getting ready for uh, this uh, trip to LA and uh, and uh, and do that part. So I'll report at, along the way. All right, we're on the bus. We got on the bus and we're riding on the bus to Portland. Since there was uh, some track issues uh, between uh, Seattle and Portland, so we're just uh, sitting here waiting to take off and we'll be on our way. <laughs> I have to turn this thing back on to show you this. We're parked in a bus, two buses ahead of us in a dead end. So I wanna see how it works this out here. Cause uh, ain't a whole lot of room. I don't know where the heck he's going. I don't know if he's gonna back out of here or if he's gonna, uh, <laughs> if he's back this way. Maybe, okay, maybe go back that way. And back up the street. Yeah, back up. But yeah, I mean, this, the small cars can do a, a three-point turn or something and go backwards, but this is a big old bus. So. But we're going to back into a space behind the bus. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, yeah, he's got security guy, guy helping him guide him back. But, yeah, kind of a interesting place to do what they do. Yeah. All right, so we're getting it. Yep. Yeah. Here we go, I think. Make it one turn. Pretty slick, huh? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you got it. All right. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So. Oh, there's a place back there. Okay. I didn't see that. I didn't. I didn't notice that space. Went into the 13 coins and got some breakfast, and it was pretty good. Very good. Yeah. They don't have anything in the uh, station. The 13 coins restaurant. Hats off to you guys. Fixed it all up right. Got me to go stuff. Uh, yeah, it was good. So we're on our way. Leaving Seattle. Bye, bus. Me and my hand on the way to Portland. Can't twist it very much, but. Don't twist it. Because it's a broken. May the force be with you. Oh, Nanu Nanu. All right. Well, after a three hour bus ride, we are rolling into Union Station in Portland. What? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, I've been told. Still, it felt like forever. My butt ski needs to get up ski. But, uh, anyways, here we go. We're rolling in. Hopefully, we'll be on the train and get the flock out of here as soon as possible. with some uh, lunch or something and it got shafted on that uh, here let's see here rolling in rolling in rolling in it's an interesting looking structure I'll stop for a second well we got here to Portland this is the Metropolitan Lounge for the uh, sleeper car People, there they are right there, yeah. Hey, you found it, yeah. <laughs> so this is where we'll go out to the train. Uh, when is time to go? Time yet? We'll go out into the, go out into the area here. All right, so it's a nice station. Big, definitely old school. I know, a lot of marble. They got a store here. Souvenirs, camera supplies, snacks, drinks. I know what they got here. They got burgers and all kinds of stuff. Hot dogs and all the uh, things you need to survive on the road. So, personal care items, drinks. Postcards, look at that man. Got some ice cream. Awesome. So it's pretty uh the most so far we've seen in a in a um in one of the stations. So let's wander back out this way. So we just survived our two and a half hour uh bus ride you know bus you sit you don't get up you know that's the way it works out here where the taxis drop people off and probably a uber and lyft and all that stuff and the desk times arrivals departures all that good stuff Yeah, so I'm going to head back into the lounge, and I'm going to, actually, what I'm going to do is before I head back to the lounge, I'm going to go use the facilities, so be back in a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. The lady told me to the left, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I go to the left, and I'm like, okay. So I'm just follow the wrong direction. Where are you heading, sweetheart? Rumi? Yeah. All right, let me get you to room. You're going to be taking care of us, Olga? I will. All right. Hello. Oh, how right. are you? Welcome. Yes, honey. Get upstairs, okay? All right, okay. excellent. Oh. All right. Do you have some space for the big one upstairs, or you can shake upstairs if you have enough room for that, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, we've got Where are you heading, guys? Uh, to Los Angeles. Perfect. Uh, we'll yeah. leave it here. So how are you? All right, ready? One, two. All right. Okay, I figured it was better. Back down there, back up there, up 
the stairs. Oh hell. Okay. This, uh, the, cri the crippled crawl uh, up the the minster staircase. You have to go to the minster and uh, in Leeds to know what I'm talking about with that. But um, and here we are, back again in Rumi. On to California. This is Zephyr, not Zephyr. This is the... Sunset Limited. Sunset Limited. Oh, ow. No, 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 no. Coast, coast, coast something. Yeah, coast something. Anyways, they have red cap service at most of the Amtrak stations for the folks that can't carry their bags or... Coast Starlight. Coast Starlight. Have too many. Um, it's kind of convenient for folks that need a hand. This one has the curtain. Oh, let's see here. So we're back to the shower with a curtain. I like the which I actually better. prefer better because it doesn't leak as much as the other one did. Mm -hmm. This room is like the first room from the city of uh, New Orleans where it has the coat hangers. The other room we were in didn't have that, which is kind of a pain in the butt ski. The other one did have a better sink faucet though. I like yeah. that better. But um, here we are again. Uh, finally back on the train. No more damn buses. And um, so we'll get settled in here and then we'll go exploring. And uh, Olga's our, our person who's gonna take care of us on this trip. And uh, we'll uh, document the whole experience. I didn't document walking down the side of the train because I'm still kind of crip. Still kind of a crip with the hand and everything. So I, it was gonna be too hard to do everything at one time. So anyways, we'll talk to you guys. The thing I noticed about this station is in this area and the bridges, it's all old school, all riveted together. That bridge up there. Look at the supports for the for the bridge. Everything was welded. I mean, excuse me, everything was riveted together, which is something they don't do anymore. So yeah, it's pretty cool. That's bolted together here, for this overhang. But look at the way that the, the style of the, the metalwork underneath, very uh, old school. Just an observation. All right, we're finally rolling on to Portland to see uh, some of the bridges and the bridge we're going over right here. There we go. There's a clear. Uh, so yeah. Sorry, it's not working. Union Station in the back. Are you over there. at the lounge? I'm at the dining car. <laughs> <laughs> roger, Roger. I just missed all the Christmas trees. But, but there's some vineyards, I think. More farm? Yeah, I read about it. I don't know. Oh, here comes some leaves. I'm not too sure what that is. I was trying to get some Christmas trees. Rolling through the countryside Why? here in Oregon. A mixture of this, that, and the other. Rolling through the countryside Why? here in Oregon. A mixture of this, that, and the other, and everything else. Orchards, sheep. Christmas tree looking things, uh, some kind yeah, of a a nursery. nursery, yeah. But yeah, I did bring yeah. it. A little bit rainy. Yeah. And a good game of pigs. Quick stop at Salem, Salem Oregon. I was throwing the pigs. See, I'm out. Not just Albany, any Albany, but ex historic Albany. <laughs> 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 
They're very proud of their uh, his, history, I guess. So what happened here? Did we have a... Uh... <laughs> Probably more interesting than historic Albany is the rail yard here. Lots of trains, lots of trucks, lots of tracks, lots of train engines down here. All right, we've got a uh, smoky stop here in Eugene, Oregon real quick. People getting off, people getting on. All that good stuff. Told us not to go too far from the car or you will get left here in Eugene, Oregon. So we're not going to venture very far away from this. Just walk a little bit. Nice out. Sun's very bright. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. For a Mary Jane break, is that what it is? Yeah, no snow here to interrupt my trip. No snow to keep. It's cool. It's cool out. Oh, oh, train's taking a leak. Look at that. Train's taking a uh, Gotta pee a little bit, train set. Train station. Old school of train station. I'm gonna go ahead and get back on. There on the mountain. Oh, this is So Nevada suffered from the same thing from California. And yeah, man. Like we we got hit hard with the um, with the housing boom, right? So like you could get a pretty decent house between one. All right. Well, it's almost six o'clock in in the morning, and the train stopped. And we are in Sacramento, California. Uh, uh. People getting on, people getting off. We just, I just woke up, so. But yeah, Sacramento. Well, we were in Sacramento for about an hour, over an hour stopped. They must've been fueling and resupplying and all that stuff. Um, gave us enough time to get a shower without train moving. Which is good. Um, when I, just for the folks that know, when I first got in the shower when the train wasn't moving, I tried to turn the water on, there was no water or no water pressure. So it must have been part of their, they are probably filling up with water or something. So, um, and then a little bit after that, I checked the water in the sink and uh, there was pressure and then the shower worked so um but yeah so it is um 650 uh, 6.54 or so 53 and we are back on the road again out of sacramento california california um yeah um 
night. The night was, uh, well, seemed like I woke up every time the train stopped. And, oh, we're not moving. Um, but um, I went back to sleep each time, too. So, um, so we hit the rack before 10.30ish uh, last night because I was, couldn't keep my eyes open for some reason. And um, so I got a relatively decent amount of sleep. But anyway, so next stop is the breakfast, the dining car to get some breakfast here. All right, tra train made a stop in Davis, Davis, California. It's sort of getting off, getting on. Danger, do not cross tracks until train stops. That's kind of a duh, duh moment, I think. But you gotta tell people everything now. Davis, California. All right, so we start the breakfast. Nothing. <laughs> coffee replacement. Exactly. I have some orange juice. So we'll show you what's coming up next year. I got scrambled eggs coming in. She has a breakfast quesadilla. Quesadilla, Napoleon. Quesadilla. There were mountains out there, but I decided to talk to me when there weren't mountains. Okay, I was uh, I was slacking when breakfast. I didn't take any video of the breakfast, and I said I was going to. Martinez, Martinez. Okay, we're approaching uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Um, and the train runs right along the water, so we're gonna get a lot of views. Yeah, anyways. Okay, so that's San Pablo Bay. San Pablo Bay. Yeah, so uh, once we get past this train here, we'll pop into San Pablo Bay, which is, you know, well, what's going on over there? Oh, that's just a. Uh, oh. Little industrial stuff here, which is. You gotta have that. People gotta have places to work. Things get made. Stuff like that. There we go. There's some more of the bay. Okay. There's some more of the bay. It's a very pretty bay view, and we have the yeah. Very and the refinery on this side. <laughs> and the industrial view. That looks like an oil side. refinery. So that's cool. Got to have the oil. This thing's moving with diesel fuel. You got to have the oil. As much as you don't, people don't like it. Got to have it. So, yeah, so here we are, we're, oh, another train, boom, see ya. This particular train track follows the coastline along the bay into San Francisco, so that's what we're showing you here. Looking out of our room, across the little hallway. Uh. All right, here we go. You can see the San Francisco Bay Bridge or the Golden Gate Bridge in the distance. 
for a second here more and then it is gone and the interstate looks like the interstate there with lots of traffic and we got a u.s postal service building over there should get another shot at the bay here coming up pretty soon all right so you can a uh, little bit of the bay Here's Stefan and here's Leo. This is your stop. In a few more minutes, we're getting into Emeryville. Thank you. Emeryville. Emeryville. San Francisco Connection. Oh, there's our two friends we met on the visiting from Germany. Oh. Frankfurt. Walking that way. We are waiting for the train to start moving again. But um, no, they're picking some people up, letting some people off. Mm -hmm. And hopefully soon here we'll be rolling, sitting in the here with all the nice windows and such hopefully get some more views of San Fran as we're passing maybe kind of mm. seems that uh, the thing around here now is build a lot of big tall buildings facing that way so ah, yes anyway so let's see what happens <laughs> Lots of containers heading east, it looks like. <laughs> or somewhere. Stop's going to be in Oakland, so they're supposed to be uh, probably picking up a bunch of folks there. Um, once again, this is along the water here, restaurant shops, things like that. Jack London, Black Jack London Square, it's called this area, I guess. Marina. San Jose Gridadon Station. A pretty big station. Tickets, trains, the sky's clear. A couple of breaths of fresh air. Before we hit the road.
side here, north of San Francisco Bay Area. We're out in... South. South, excuse me, south, you're right. I've been corrected, yeah. Agriculture out here, seriously. All over. Um, yeah. Look at it, I'm, I'm trying to, I start taping and I get dirt. Why don't we just get dirt? There was some really pretty fields and I turn my camera on and I get dirt. Oh well, let's pause a second. We'll come back when there's some pretty colors. Did dump that there? I don't know. Hey, yo, yo, Probably. what's up, man? Um, anyways, yeah. One thing I have noticed in some stretches of this track, well, there's a bunch of appliances out there. What's up with that? I mean, back at home, those appliances What's don't last long, man. Scrappers hit that stuff hard. They don't sit out very long. But one thing I have noticed along these tracks in a lot of places, Seattle was really bad along the interstate. Garbage no, everywhere. Seattle. Portland. No, Seattle. Coming out of Seattle, there was a lot of garbage along the inter in the interstate. Oh. Uh, which at home in Florida, we just don't have because they clean it. So, you know, it's kind of mystifying to me that the people in this uh, Seattle area, which, you know, are you know, pretty, uh, uh, you know, tree hugging type, they don't clean the sides of the road. Because a lot of people need some work. Anyways, um, but out here it's not too bad. But some places along the railroad tracks, oh my God, there's garbage everywhere. You know, and then there's people sleeping in the right-of-ways, and, and I, I believe that's illegal to, uh, you know, to hang out in the railroad right-of-ways and on the interstate also. You don't do that stuff at home. They'll haul your ass off. So, anyways, just an observation. Nice out here, though, in California. North, south, excuse me, south of San Francisco in this agricultural area. Um, Why did I do it? All right, we're in Salinas. California. California. Breezy, cool, clear. Yeah. I'm going to wander down by this car real quick, take a picture. Union Pacific, uh, uh, Southern Pacific. They got a really cool, they got a, uh, yeah, I, don't, I wish I don't have, I don't have time for all of it. They have a, one of the cars here. No video, too. It's time for me to go and eat lunch, so I gotta do that. But, but. That's cool. That's that's America. Guys working out in the fields, setting some stuff up. Pizza, uh, pizzas, really. Burp. Just finished lunch. I swore that I was going to take photo, uh, video of the lunch itself, didn't and happen. I and I didn't. But we got a whole another trip of two days after this one. We'll have plenty of time, and I'll get it all done in that one. So if you don't see it in this one, you just have to watch the next one. Um, so yeah, we're in the Central Valley in California. So lots and lots and lots and lots of agriculture. And then I guess there's plenty of oil wells coming up and stuff too. We are just chatting with someone that's a native of California while we're eating lunch. So we'll see some of that in a little Digger. while. Too much, uh, too much uh, weird ass shit going on in LA for Jed now. So Granny probably running around shooting those people. Um, Anyways, that's cool. I like that mine oil well. That's like just pumping up money. A little bit of time. A little bit of time. Pump that money up. Pump it up, pump it up. A whole bunch over there on the other side, too. Gosh darn it, there's oil wells everywhere. I'm talking about pumping up the money. Well, that's what this train's running on, so don't make uh, can't run on a windmill or a solar panel. So um, that's what makes America work is a good old fashioned oil out the ground. 
much as you some people don't like the idea that's what uh that's how they get all their stuff so cool 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 what i was referring to when i said jed is jed clampett you know beverly hillbillies you know he uh shooting at some food up from the ground come a bubbling crude well yeah so anyways i think we're now we're we got, over here. You, all you're getting is rock over here. Yeah, we got dirt and rock on both sides right now. No, there's not dirt and rock. There's there's dirt, but there's, there's trees. trees over there. There's trees. All right, I'm gonna go take a look at the trees. Oh, look at that scrubby, scrubby stuff. Look, Peggy, I'm 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 been restrained. <laughs> Velcro on my brace. <laughs> they got Velcro on the door right here to hold them shade on it or whatever and I was stuck. Help, Granny, help. Oh, well. Yeah, anyways, yeah, this is a little change of scenery here. It's cool. It's America. Got some cattle out there grazing. The funniest, the, the weirdest looking hills where they're just kind of wrapped in grass. And they almost look like it's a, like a, at this distance, it looks like a, like golf, like a golf course. But I'm sure close up. It's, yeah, definitely when we're in, in the, at the hotel, I need to download one of the movies, but since we're going to be on the train oh, okay. for two more days, so at night we have yeah. some other stuff to watch. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, one of my earlier ones, about the area they have in the bottom for extra, your bags, you know, bring them up into the space where you're kind of limited, and you can leave them down the bottom here. And then the staircase, the spiral staircase of death, as you spin around and go up, especially when you were trying to carry bags up here the first time you went up, it was like, oh, banging against things and everything else, so... We just stopped in Paso Robles. This is where we're at now. They dropped off some people, picked up some people maybe, and, and we're heading south. Ooh. Yeah. Door was closed. like we're going to go back into a tunnel. Tunnel? Yep. So, tunnel? Tunnel. Alrighty then, we just stopped in San Luis Obispo, California. I think you're picking up some people, dropping some people off. Probably, maybe. I don't think we'll be here very long, I have a feeling. So, I don't see anybody else. Oh, wait a minute. There is a guy off that was so I guess they are letting you get out and walk around. Thirties room 11, your table's ready. Room 11 from the 30 car, your table's ready in the diner. Party of two. Launch tower at Vandenberg. All right guys, Pacific Ocean. That's what they build this they build this train riding right along the Pacific Ocean. So here we go. Last call. Room eleven, last call. What car? Thirty car, room eleven, that is. Just just right along the area where Vandenberg Air Force Base is too. So never mind, I just talked to your attendant. Everyone gets something um, from each so pretty cool. They say they stop the train when they're doing a launch. Because it's relatively close tracks are relatively close to the tower, so if there was a boo boo. Um, I guess they're not showing up. Alright. Well, we finally made it to the Pacific Ocean. Still in the Vandenberg area. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. She's got shoes. Yeah, pretty most impressive. Kind of hazy out. The windows on the train are pretty clean compared to the last, the last two trains he rode on. So um, we're not having any of the distortion from the from the windows on the train. Uh, we we as in me and the significant other lucked out tonight because the people wouldn't be sitting at our table or eating in the room. So we have the first night where we're by ourselves. Ooh, 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 romantic, isn't it? Um, mm. Anyways, um, no comment. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got their bread. <laughs> so we got double bread. Cool. All right. I'm going to uh, turn this off for a second. Butter in my bread. Equipment towers at uh, Vander uh, Vandenberg. Oh, cool. We got more here coming up. I think there might be something on the pad over there. Let me take a look in a second here. So, this double turns around. Okay, there's a. Oh, come on. No! There's a. There's a. SpaceX rocket on the pad and the wheel. Come on, give me a shot. Oh, yeah, there we go. There it is, guys. There it is. There's one right in the launch. Very cool. Very freaking cool. Gotta get as much of this up, man. Man, I'd like to be right here when that thing goes off. That'd be freaking awesome. But they stopped the train when that stuff's going on, so. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Okay, back to the Pacific Ocean. Oh, no, that's very cool too. Yeah, uh, found the selling points in this train. Okay, I finally, I de finally did it, guys. We're having the shrimp, the, the coconut shrimp appetizer. So you get three uh, shrimp, coconut wrapped, and then this dipping sauce right there, which is pretty good if you like coconut. So, that's the appetizer for tonight. for tonight, yes. There's two other choices for appetizers, but this is the one I've been eating because the other two I don't particularly care for, so, but it's not bad. into Santa Barbara, California station. This is a, what they call smoke break. So we'll be here for a few minutes. Get to get out, walk around, stretch our legs, do all that good stuff. It says up there, 1905. So that's when the station was built here. That's cool. Well, let's get up, go take a look. Check all it out. right, folks, here we are, Santa Barbara. Sunny as heck gonna walk a little bit we just oh, excuse me we just had uh, dinner not too long ago we we're riding along the Pacific Coast there which I've uh, recorded all the trains taking a leak it deserves it let's spin back there's the station from the outside oh yeah mountains in the background Yeah, we are stretching our legs a little bit. Lunch was, uh, dinner was filling. I didn't really even finish it all, so. I worked that food out. Oh, no, no, 
Oxnard, California. I'm gonna drop a couple people off, pick a couple people up. I don't think they're gonna pick anybody up in Oxnard, but maybe they will. Ride to LA, I don't know. But Oxnard. We stopped at Simi Valley. I think this is the last stop before. No, it might be. Oh, we got another one? Okay, no, well, I don't I know. Think, I think Burbank. I don't see a sign for Simi Valley, but we're in Simi Valley. Ooh. Ooh, coming out of here. Huh? Came into Van Nuys. It is 8.25. I don't know how many more stops we got. I don't know before we get to... We don't have any more. Oh, next stop is Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well...